It was once one of the largest Indian tribes in all of North America, right here in the Central Valley. But the entire Yoka tribe was nearly wiped out with the destruction of Tulare Lake. Tulare Lake is now farmland, but if the 1,000 square foot mile lake was here today, Kettleman City and Lemoore would be lakefront communities. The town of Alpaw would be an island, and Corcoran would be underwater. Tonight, Action News anchor Jean Higginson shows us why the lake's disappearance led to the near extinction of the Yoka Indians. The Yokut people lived along the shores of Tulare Lake for at least 2,000 years. In their story of creation, they believe the mountains on each side of the lake, the Sierra and the Coast Range, were scooped from the mud of the lake bottom. Its waters were the source of all life, the abundant plants and wildlife they lived on. Rob Hansen is a professor at College of the Sequoias and an expert on the lake and its history. If you wanted to pick a group of Native Americans that had the, the highest density population because there was so much reliable food from year to year that they didn't have to even go to war with one another, they, you know, they lived in a naturally rich area, it was Central California. There were more yokuts in, you know, in compact communities, villages, than in any other Native American group anywhere. The yokut population around the lake in 1800 was estimated to be around 20,000 people. This educational film made back in the 1960s had Yokuts reenact some of the customs of their ancestors. They used the reeds or tulies that surrounded the lake for everything from baskets to houses to the canoes they used to travel the huge lake. For most of us that's just really hard to imagine that there was a lake that was roughly 30 miles east and west, you know, sitting out here in the middle of the valley. It just, it was very, very huge, huge but shallow. But in the 1850s, farmers descended on the fertile Central Valley, diverting its rivers, the Kern, the Kawea, the Thule, and the Kings, to irrigate their crops. In 60 years, the shallow lake was gone, and so were the Indians who'd stood in the way. In 1853, the governor declared extermination of all Digger Indians in the state of California. The first governor of California, Peter Burnett, did issue an order for the extermination of all Native Americans in the state. Over the years, the bounty on Indian scalps was raised from 25 cents each to five dollars each. Indian men, women, and children were hunted down like animals in the valley and the foothills. The bounty, along with disease and famine caused by the loss of the lake and surrounding natural habitat, decimated the Yokuts. By 1880, a population of 20,000 had dwindled to just 600. Let Raymond Jeff is the historian for the Tachi Yoka tribe, survivors of the Yokuts who once lived along Tulare Lake. He says the tragedy of his people is one of the greatest untold stories in California history. Just like the Jews on their, their Holocaust and the Armenians in their Holocaust, right here in California from 1853 till 1903, why don't they teach that in school? Tulare Lake is now dry, home to some of the world's biggest cotton fields, subsidized and protected by the federal government with an elaborate multi-million dollar flood control system aimed at keeping water out of the natural lake. But it doesn't always work. Tulare Lake has never reappeared in its full size, although it's been pretty full on a few occasions. In the late 1930s, floodwaters forced the return of Tulare Lake. It lasted through the duration of World War II, long enough for pelicans to nest along the lake shore again. Floods in the early 80s revived the lake again and destroyed the cotton crop. To stop that from happening again, during the latest spring floods, the Army Corps of Engineers diverted heavy runoff that would have flowed into the lake bed north into the San Joaquin River, causing flooding and raising questions about the logic of keeping water out of a natural lake bed. I've never even seen the lake. All I did was read about it. Meantime, the Yokut population is on the rebound. In recent years, they've developed a casino, and reed houses have given way to modern subdivisions. But the lake has lived on in their legends. The song sung in this nearly 50-year-old film is about the lake. They're telling the lake, you can do anything you want with me, but I'm right here. This is my, my home. In Kings County, Gene Higginson, ABC 30 Action News.